Whoa, is this a new detective car? It sure is. I put in the paperwork 18 months ago and got lucky. They fast-tracked it. Say hello to the 99's brand new, fully loaded, sweet as hell, crime pressure on wheels. Holy crap, it has a heads-up display with built-in license plate reader. Who cares? It's got two burrito holders. Those are cup holders, Scully. Oh, yeah? Then what am I supposed to use my thighs for, genius? Wait, who are you assigning this car to, Sarge? Um, uh, I was actually thinking I'd get this one. What? Seriously? You suck. Whoa! The heater in my detective car hasn't worked in two years. I don't have enough body fat to keep warm. Terry's sick of shivering. OK. It just seems a little selfish to keep it for yourself when you're detectives. So you took an oath to protect or stuck driving their crappy old cars. Mine's the oldest. I've never felt so abandoned. And I was actually abandoned. They found me in a swamp. Fine. We'll do a drawing for it. But until then, no one touches it. Oops, too late. I left a ranch handprint on the windshield. OK, one of us is about to get access to the best detective car ever, and everyone else will go back to driving junk cars for the rest of your junk lives. Damn, Sarge, that took a dark turn. I want seat warmers. I want them bad. I need this car, too. I'm sick of riding my Vespa to work every day. Well, being on the seat behind you is no picnic, either. All right, here goes. What? Oh, my God, it says Terry. I won. Terry got a cup. Terry got a cup. No way. You cheated. What? I didn't cheat. I bet every slip in there says Terry. He filled it full of fake people. Who the hell is Norm? It's Scully's first name. It is? Stop being sore losers. I won fair and square. No, you won unfair and unsquare, and I'm going to prove it. And if we can't, we'll plant it. No. OK, no one saw Sarge do anything suspicious on the day of the drawing. We got nothing. Speak for yourself, sister. We found a smoking gun. Play it, Hitchcock. Voila! Ba-boom. What? I don't see anything. Focus on the butt. The butt don't lie. He squeezed his cheeks before he opened the slip. He knew his name was on it. It was a preemptive celebration clinch. I don't know. We need better proof than a butt clinch to take down Terry. I did it, OK? I cheated. I wanted that car, and I took it. And it's killing me. I couldn't sleep all night. I just kept hearing the blinker. You cheat, you cheat, you cheat. Here are the keys. Take the damn car. Terry doesn't deserve it. And that is why I became a cop. All right, Sarge. Car's yours. What? Why? I don't deserve that car. I don't know about that. I went back and watched the tapes to figure out how you did it. Right before the drawing, you got a peanut butter cup out of the freezer. Thing is, you don't eat sugar past 4 p.m. Could have been a cheat day. Oh, it was definitely a cheat day. You froze your slip of paper so that when you pulled the name, all you had to do was find the cold one. So, you thought the way I cheated was so cool you gave me the car? Yeah, but also, while I was watching those tapes, I noticed all the nice crap you do for people. You got Gina a cushion for her chair. You let Charles show you 130 pictures of Nicolaj brushing his teeth. You Heimlich Scully twice on the same peanut. I also solved the murder. Yeah, we all solved murders, but you... You let Hitchcock borrow a pair of your socks because he's somehow disintegrated. Anyway, I'm sorry I guilted you in the first place. You deserve that car. Thanks, Diaz. Uh, how did you get Hitchcock and Scully to agree to this? I washed their car and told them it was a new one. They're napping in it right now. Smart.